good day. I'm feeling a lot better. A bit sniffly if anything still. Anyway, yesterday I ordered some treats for the dog, so I'm gonna go and get them. Surprise, surprise. Also, yesterday, remember when I had that bag of shopping for Gemma? And she said, oh, it's a chocolate orange. It wasn't a chocolate orange. I'm gonna go and buy her a chocolate orange. And then she said, where's the cash? I'm gonna put some cash in the box of that, and I mean, so when she opens it, there's cash in there. <laughs> Got a bit mental. And so I've been out, and I haven't filmed a thing. I've been out in the uh, MG, roof down, and I thought it might rain, so I put the roof back up. I've got some PR stuff I've got to do as well that I've got to finish. That I'll start this morning. Gemma's coming home probably in about three or four hours, and we're going out tonight to ZZ's with some friends. Uh, Lucy and Dean, who you've seen on here, that we haven't seen for ages. So looking forward to that. We're going to have a massive feast and nosh up, and I'm going to get on with some work. Boring for you, isn't it? But that's what's happening. Just did a helicopter. Very low. Not sure where it's gone though. It was literally. I just saw it go behind that building. What do you think it is, Oak? No. That's something to worry about, mate. They're not coming to get you. <laughs> no. There it is. No idea what it's up to. And it's gone. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? Right, Gemma's due home any minute. I say any minute. Could be 35 minutes to an hour. What do you fussing over? I know what he wants. It's because I came in earlier with the you-know-what treats. Gentle. Here we go. That dog is so spoiled. I know what Gemma would say. When he was attacked the other day, he deserves it. Getting her coffee sorted, before she walks through the door, and on top of that, I've got her a chocolate orange. And I've primed it with dirty hard cash. Now let's see if she moans. Look who's home! Back. The bitch is back! Open that cupboard. Yes! What is it? Yes. What is it? I can't spoil Zizi's. You're allowed to slice, aren't you? I don't think it's going to work. You have just a slice. There's a fiend behind me. Oh, lovely chocolate orange. <laughs> What's this? Oh, hang on. Well, you said yesterday you went chocolate orange. That was wrong. Then you walked off going, I want the cash. <laughs> I was only just... So I've got your oh, chocolate thanks. orange with some cash in there. Yes. Has that made you tap it? <laughs> Jesus. It says tap it, not smash it. It's a beaten orange. Nice. Mm. And I'm making you a coffee. I'm an amazing husband. Yeah, I am. Yeah, tell the world. Can you hear me? I've now been so good, I'm now ironing her clothes. Can you hear me under there? I'm going to iron her shirt. I'm pulling out the old faithful, isn't I? This will be the fourth time I've worn it on video now. So now I've got to try and iron this shirt without burning it. What could possibly go wrong? Might turn it down a bit first. So this is the point of the evening where I am ready in the Old Faithful shirt. I'll call it Old Faithful from now on. And Gemma is just finishing getting ready. Right, we've got 10, 15 minutes. Will she make it? Or will she be flustered at the last minute? We'll find out here. The babysitter has just arrived for Hogan. That means she'll go in and Hogan will go mad. That's Gemma's mum. What's happening? <laughs> it's over there, isn't it? It's bright red over there. Look at that, that is amazing, that red. I'm surprised it's been that red. She hasn't tried to get it in the living room. I should be running around here if I can't get it. Stop it. <laughs> it's already started, you're late. Did you see that That's it. That's it. That's what happens. Nana's in. Hogan will follow. And hopefully, at some point, Gemma will come out. We are now only three minutes late. Unbelievable. Here she comes. Yeah. Here she is. 
All right, ready for a... A feast. A feast and a journey. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm not very good at judging it just yet. Well, what does that mean? That was a tiny bit. A bit more. Good. Let's go. A feast. Go and see the you know what. Beginning with B, heading in Arst Arts. Oh, phone. Who's that? Dean. Going to be five minutes late. Can't wait to stuff my fat face, he said. How do we get out? Mm. Hey? Here you are. Like it's nice though, isn't it? Worcester Cathedral should be proud of that. Cheers. We're early, they're late. They said five minutes, they've been at least ten. I don't, I think I know what I'm having. Do you know what you're having? Yeah, they know what they are. They've arrived. Here's the absolute, you know what they are. Here they are. And just noticed doing a glittery tie. Well, nice to come out of the tie and champagne. Who she thinks she is? Right, Gem, we've ordered the starters. They're taking ages. Trying to work out what they want for their mat. Have you decided? Oh, so much to eat. Yeah. Orange, what? Cheesecake. Have you gone for the pudding already? Ah! Oh, look at that! Cost meatballs baked with a pasta. So nice. Filling my fat face. Well, we've uh, had the starters, we've had the main, and now we're going on to desserts because we're a bunch of lumpies. I keep burping up uh, meatballs. Do you know what you're having for pudding? Oh yeah. I'm having that. Do you? Oh, are you? Yeah. I don't know what I'm having. I think I'm having one of everything. One of everything. Do you know what you're having, Jen? Yeah. Blood orange. Look at that. Blood. That's amazing. Everyone happy? You happy? Oh, now we are talking. Yes. Come around here with you. It's basically a pervy bowl, isn't it? Look at that. It looks like a dildo. It looks like what? Dildo. Unbelievable. I can't believe that. I've been stiff for the billy. I can't believe you've done that. Made me pay. Am I what? You can show me. <laughs> He's not happy. They're not happy. Well, we've had a lovely time. Have you had a nice time? I've had a very nice time. Loose have you had a nice time? It's been truly astonishing. Astonishing. <laughs> yeah. Don't thank her, it was my card, you. <laughs> Um, all right, you pair. Oh, look, there's Algar. Do you think people should clean his head, seeing as it's covered in bird poo? Historical figure like that, covered in absolute dump. Oh, this is coming to Worcester. Hamburgers, shopping and dining. Is it just food in here? All bar one, the cozy club, fitness for that. I don't fitness what. Ask just to say that Dean has just let him. We had to walk away. Dropped his bat. <laughs> Drops his bat. He's letting out the uh, the pizza that he's just had. Great stuff for the vlog. I'm cold, I'm cold, I am. You've got cardio on for the That's alright earlier. Well, that's it. What a lovely evening. Fab. Nice food, nice company. Just the way we like it, eh? Oh no, go right. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be stuck in that little bit. You wouldn't I? I would. Well, this has been nice. It's very rare I bring the camera out on an evening. Here we are. Exactly. There's a cathedral once again. Showing off. He knows he's going to be on the vlog. Oh, bad back. My back's really hurting. Have you had a nice time? Very nice. Are you ready? going on. I keep getting given tickets, I got two. Are you ready for a bit of night driving? Yeah. Just coming out of Cathedral Plaza. The plaza. Car park full. It's not. Here we go. Here we go. Can you drive down here? Yeah, you can't. Yeah. 
Yeah. Hello. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but you can. Yeah. Sheila! Oh, no, yeah, that's it. That's a bit of night time viewing. What's the matter, she? She's hiding from the camera. Oh. F off, she said. I won't I won't get you at this time of night. This time of night I've gone. Uh, there's only one cup there, it seems. There's only one cup. What are you doing? She's a little set so she can take some home. Oh, okay. Come on out. Well, can't I can't tell the owner of the set of juice. It's because you said the word juice. You've been there, Blum. What's this? Armour, ain't you? Oh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> ah, what? Don't stand in the way of his juice, she! <laughs> God, I'm going to talk about how I'm bruised. If he's taken that bit, I'm going to ah, win. He's a sod in me. What's the matter? You always taste me when I'm ugly. <laughs> well, I'm ugly. You're ugly all the time. <laughs> Well, there you go, another day done. I'm on the road tomorrow gigging with Sarah Warren in an act called The Fat Man. That's me. And her. The Fat Man and her is the name of the duo. And we're off to a place called The Raven in Hook in Hampshire. So I'll be on the road with someone completely different that you've never seen on here before. That'll be happening. We've had a lovely night out at ZZ's with Lucy and Dean. Huge thanks to Sheila who babysat the baby. Where is he? Oh, he's asleep on the sofa right now. Time to call it a day. Gonna wrap this up, get the bed. And we realise next week we've got a spa day. On Monday, we're going for a whole spa day. Treatments and all sorts, so that'll be amazing. Uh, anyway, that's next week. This is now. So until the next one, which is tomorrow. Be good to each other, love each other, and see you tomorrow. Yeah.